Welcome back to my channel everyone. So today, we will be talking about solving geometric figures on the coordinate plane. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you on how to solve the evaluation part of your Math 10 module. Number one, determine the length of side C. So having this figure, wherein this side measures six units, this side measures eight units, and this side is still unknown. We will solve for this side. We will apply Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem states that, that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the two legs. So having this figure, this right triangle, this side is the hypotenuse and this side and this side are the two legs. Because Pythagorean theorem states that the square of the hypotenuse, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the two legs. So the sum of the square of the two legs. So this one is A and this one is B. A and B. Or you can have this one as A and this one as B. So to solve C, we will use this formula. Next, A is 6 squared. Next, B is 8. C squared is 36 plus 8 squared is 64. 36 plus 64 is 100. And we have on the left side, we have C squared. So to get the value of C, we need to cancel out the exponent 2. So to do that one, we will put square root on that side. And what we have done on the left side should also be done on the right side. So square root of, of C squared will be equal to C. And the square root of 100 is 10. So the final answer is 10. Number 2, determine the distance between point 3, 2 and 3, negative 4. So to imagine that one, we will draw its coordinates. We have 3, 2 on this location, while 3, negative 4, 3, negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 is on this location. So, we will use distance formula to know the distance of these points. So, the distance formula is d is equal to the square root of x sub 1 minus x sub, uh, x sub 2 minus x sub 1 square plus x, uh, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. And... Let us substitute the following given to our formula. So we can label this one as x sub 1 and this one as y sub 1. This one as x sub 2 and this one is y sub 2. So our x sub 2 is 3 and our y x sub 1 is also 3. Our y sub 2 is negative 4 and our y sub 1 is 2. Three minus three is zero. Zero squared is zero. Negative four minus two that is negative six. Negative six squared. Negative six squared is thirty-six. So you can write thirty-six there. Zero plus thirty-six is thirty-six, and the square root of thirty-six is six. So the distance between this point to this point, from this point to this point, is 6 units. We can also do a shortcut method on solving this kind of example. How? If you have graphed your points and you have seen that it is a straight line, vertically or horizontally, you can just simply count from that point going to the other point. So, you can count using this y axis. The location of this one is 2, while this one is negative 4. So let's count from this point. That's 1, 2, 3, 
four, five, six. Six units from this point going here. So we are correct. Number three, find the distance between points one, negative four, and two, four. So again, we will be using distance formula. So write the formula. So next, let's substitute the following given. So these are the given, and let's substitute that one here. So 1 is our x sub 1, negative 4 is our y sub 1. 2 is our x sub 2, and 4 is our y sub 2. This is our first point, that's why we have x sub 1 and y sub 1. This is our second point, so we, can, so we have that one as x sub 2 and y sub 2. Substitute. x sub 2 is 2. Our x sub 1 is 1. Our y sub 2 is 4. Our y sub 1 is negative 4. Next. Negative uh, 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 squared is the result. 4 minus negative 4, that this becomes positive. Negative times negative, that becomes positive. So, 4 plus 4 is 8. So, we have 8 squared. 1 squared is 1 plus 8 squared is 64. 64 plus 1 is 65. So, the distance between this point to this point is square root of 65. Or, in decimal form, you have that one as 8.06. Approximately 8.06. Number 4, which of the following points is in the 4th quadrant? So, first point is 1, 3. Second point is negative 1, 3. Third point is negative 1, negative 3. And the fourth point is 1, negative 3. First, where can we find the 4th quadrant? This one, this area here is the first quadrant. This one is the second quadrant. This one is the third quadrant, and this area here is the fourth quadrant. So, let us plot the following points. 1, 3, so this is our x, this is our y. 1, 3, this is the x, this is the y. x is 1, and 3, and y is 3. Positive 3, so positive, let's go up. 1, 2, 3. So, a is at the first quadrant. So it's wrong. B, we have negative 1, 3. Negative 1 is located here. And 3 is going up. Positive 3, 1, 2, 3. So it's located here. So this point is located at the second quadrant. So it's wrong. How about the third point? We have negative 1, negative 3. Negative 1 is located here. And negative 3 is located downward. So, 1, 2, 3. It's here. Next, 1, negative 1 and negative 3. So, let's plot. 1 is located here. And negative 3 is going down. So, 1, 2, 3. So it's located at the fourth quadrant. So the correct answer is D. Positive, the X is positive while the Y is negative. Number five, the distance between points V, which is located at X and four, and point C is located at two and one is five units. So the distance between V to C is five units. What is the X coordinate of V, this one? If it lies in the second quadrant, so if we're going to draw again the Cartesian plane, this one is the second quadrant. So it means the x here is negative, is negative, while the y is positive. So let us look in the following choices, which is an x that is negative. So it should be a negative one, so that we can. Uh, have a point that is located at the second quadrant. So A, B, C are negatives. So it could be A, B, or C. While D is a positive number, so D is wrong. Now, for starting here, we will do trial and error. 
So, let's try the following numbers. So, starting here, we will do trial and error. So, let's try to substitute these values as Rx and let's find out if it will result to a distance that is 5 units. So, first write the formula for distance. So, this is the distance formula. Let's substitute the following given. This is our x sub 1. This is our y sub 1. This is our x sub 2. This is our y sub 2. So, our x sub 2 is 2. Minus our x sub 1 is still unknown. And that is negative 3. We will try first negative 3. Our y sub 2 is 1. Minus our y sub 1 is 4. Two minus negative three. This becomes plus. So two plus three is five. Five squared is twenty-five. Plus one minus four is negative three. Negative three squared is nine. Twenty-five plus nine. Square root of twenty-five plus nine is equal to is equal to square root of thirty-four. And square root of thirty-four is equal to 5.83 so it's approximately 5.83 and 5.83 is not the same with 5 units so negative 3 is wrong let's try to have negative 2 so we'll just substitute or change negative 3 negative 3 to negative 2 and delete those things so 2 minus negative 2, so this becomes plus 2 plus 2, again this becomes plus 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 squared is 16 and the same thing on this side, so we remain it as 9 16 plus 9 is equal to 25 and square root of 25 is equal to 5 so the correct answer is negative 2 so our x here is negative 2. Number 6. Point V is the midpoint of segment ER. Which of the following is true about ER? So first, let's draw the figure. We have segment ER. So this is segment ER. And point V is the midpoint of ER. So the midpoint of this one is located here. Which of the following is true about ER? So E, point E to R segment E to R is equal to this segment plus this segment. So it's E to V to V plus V to R. Or you can have this one as V to E and V to R. They are just the same. Number 7. What is the formula for finding the distance between two points on the coordinate plane? So the distance formula is d is equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of x sub 1 of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 and y sub 2 minus y sub 1. If the points are vertically straight then you can have this one the absolute value of y sub 2 minus y sub 1 but if the points are horizontally straight so you can have this formula the absolute value of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 